Yo, guess who's back, 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 back again? It's the AK Update, our weekly series coming to you every week without fail, keeping it consistent. Coming back with some interesting topics, some hot takes, some things we watch week to week. And today, we have another special one. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to another episode of the AK Update, episode 51. And today I'm joined by both Ed and Rogel. Why don't you say hello to the people? What's good, people? Hope you're well. Uh, a bit tired today, but, you know, we're back again. Another week of eventful uh, conversations, fun times. So, yeah, happy to be here. Yo, guys, back like we never left. Yeah, another week, another interest, interesting discussion. So, yeah, I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. And before we get into the episode, we will just mention the platform. So you can find us on YouTube, obviously. Leave a comment on the episode. What do you think? Um, Twitter at uh, AK underscore mindset. And on Instagram at V dot AK underscore mindset, as well as TikTok too. So if you want to engage with us, you can find us on those platforms. But yes. We've got some news, some fresh news. So we'll start over there. So recently, the author of One Piece, Ichiro Oda, has announced that One Piece will be taking, the manga will be taking a three-week break. And uh, he had a message, which um, I'll just summarize. Actually, I'll just read it. So. It says, okay, so I'm taking a break. I'm taking three weeks for myself. Yes, is yes, this is coming on the heels of the news about Toriyama Sensei. Yes, this could cause some unnecessary excessive panic, but I am not unwell. And while it does have to do with my body, consider this a type of schedule maintenance rather than anything. More importantly, I think it's about time I start thinking Rin out what the one piece actually is. That's going to keep me quite busy. I'll have you know. What's that? You say you don't know the relationship and connections of all these characters popping up in the Egghead arc. Well, these folks, they're doing an all-you-can-read campaign for... Okay, they're just doing advertisement. So, yeah, that's the message. What do you guys think? I don't shouldn't joke like that, bro. What do you mean I'm trying to find out what the one person is? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I was... I'm in shock. He means he doesn't know. (laughs) Is it a joke? He, he doesn't. He, he bared on me. He's pulling our legs. <laughs> I said, wait, I actually have to think about it now. That's the thing that shocked me. More than anything else, I was like, ah, oh, okay, this is, I understand. This is actually a very serious topic. You know what I mean? He's taking some time rest. We can compensate about the time off that, you know, the recent death, you know. It makes mm. you want to reflect as a human being what your priorities are and, you know, how you are spending your time. But then man dropped casually at the end. But by the way, you know, it's about time I start thinking about the One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, bro. <laughs> he's a funny man. He's a funny man. But I'm happy that he's taking his health seriously and just taking a break. Three weeks is, is needed. I mean, obviously you get people complaining like, oh my God, I'm going to miss One Piece. Well, you're not going to have One Piece. Well, good quality One Piece if he doesn't get his rest. And I think, um, obviously, it goes without saying, the death probably affected him a lot more than he thought. So he definitely needed it. Um, to be fair, in my opinion, I think Mangaka should get like two week break every like three chapter drops, two weeks, three chapter drops, three weeks. But, you know, sometimes he doesn't get any breaks. So I'm, I'm happy he is. And hopefully he feels all rested when he comes back. And he should also not joke about. <laughs> not knowing what the One Piece is. The fandom is in, is going to be in disarray. You know what the One Piece is? It was chopped the whole time. Imagine, that would be, A. Hey, I don't mind. No, no, no. no. I do not mind. No, no. Of course you don't mind. The, the, the chopper cl- cosplay coming like, we, we, we deaded it last week, but it's revived if that's the, oh, is that the One Piece. Please let oh, this man. silly joke die, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. It must live on. It's gonna run into the end. <laughs> it must live on. Yeah. Um. Like, like you said. Like, obviously, something serious like that happens to you with somebody you uh, really care about, somebody you followed, somebody you've uh, who's influenced what you've done 
and it's also somebody that's your friend but of course you're gonna not be able to work or go back into the flow of things and on top of that it's obviously just good in general for him to have some time off have some uh uh time to rest and look after himself and make sure he is because health is wealth at the end of the day like if you don't look after your your health then you won't be able to do uh, uh much uh, and i think when we see big mangas like this taking breaks it allows other people to kind of follow suit so I, i'm more than happy for uh him to take more breaks and make it you know more of a kind of industry practice that uh there's a level of expectation that after a certain amount of time you know you have to you know it's okay not to demand 100 percent continuously so yeah Mm, well said well said uh i agree with those thoughts uh, i think it's cool although i think i don't i think he was going to take this break anyway but it just kind of i think he tried to clarify just because it looks like it's because of what happened but i think this was going to happen anyway but um in terms of dates one piece will return the 22nd of april i think the last ep issue before the break will be uh shonen jump issue 17 on March the 25th so uh yeah it's going to be a long time but you know um having no chapters isn't going to kill anyone so enjoy your break Ichiro Oda quick question are you man up to date on one piece yes like okay is it it's been I'm not going to ask you you've been picking not, this you're not updated no 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 I'm still I'm still at the start of egghead okay okay so at the start, of egghead. At the start. Gonna, yeah Okay, you're behind. You're behind by donkeys. Oh, man, man. Man. I mean, I've gotten spoiled on most things. I know Kizaru's there and he's doing crazy, or he's getting pammed. I don't know. The 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 community. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there's heavy support for both of them, so I don't know what's going on. But I know he's there. I know the mad five old men are there, and I know it's it's picking up because TikTok. Bro, you know everything. Some... You might as well just. <laughs> TikTok and some YouTubers ruin it for me, but I think it's One Piece that some things like I, I said it before, like spoiling me against spoiling One Piece. I've come so far that I'm not gonna like do anything, yeah, like drastic. I was like, I'm gonna stop watching it, but you know, it would also be nice if I didn't know any of these things. But it's like it's alright. I mean, there's also things I predicted that would happen. Mm. I didn't know it was gonna happen this soon, but yeah, but I can't wait. I think the plan for me was to watch it through the anime. Um. I don't know what I'm going to do now, but I, I know most things, but it's picking up. I'm excited. Yeah, I think I, I've kind of given up on anime. Not really given up, but it's not... I don't get my One Piece fixed through the anime anymore. And I keep up to date with the manga because I'm fearful of being spot. That's why I'm, on, I'm <laughs> the there. The opposite of me. <laughs> the, the opposite. I am so scared of being spot, I will read it by force. But yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I need to cut catch up fast before I because signs are things that come to end so I need to catch up for something big that I can ignore gets dropped and I, I get annoyed but to be fair though the anime looks it looks clean the egghead animation from the one episode I watched so I don't know if it's like still with the same quality but it looked nice hmm. yeah it's been it's been pretty consistent I'd say um That's but good. yes uh, I think we'll we'll move on and we'll, we'll switch up and we'll go to the hot take. So we have, we go over to Ed. Why don't you lay it on us? Yes, this one, I think it's probably one of my favorite hot takes because I just found it really, really interesting. I thought the answer was obvious as well, but there's some arguments. I didn't really agree with it, but it's like, okay, I can see where you're coming from. But the hot take is, the hot take is, it makes no sense to have a disabled person in a fantasy setting. Just heal yourself. We're talking about fantasy settings with magic, specifically. People are like, no, just, just heal yourself. There's no point of having a disabled person. They should be able to get healed. So what do you guys think? Hmm. Hmm. I, I feel like I'm... I, I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> they're gonna get me they're gonna get me um i I don't even know like i think more important obviously is just they i don't it's like context is very important 
what is the mm. story what is the character uh maybe their disability is for a reason it's a limitation that they have and it showcased as a disability uh that uh allows them to interact with the world in a different way unique way bring a different perspective and that obviously uh provides a lot more depth than just seeing everybody be the same or be able to recover just by healing magic the same you know what i mean like i think it's a good contrast for me that in that kind of fantasy world setting the individual who's suffering in a, has a disability in some sort of way that can't be just with a flick of a finger you know dealt with so i don't really agree like mm. i'm really on the side where the if is a good story and it's a device that is going to be used to propel um the character and the relationships and stuff like that like it shouldn't just be just got rid of because it's a fantasy world okay what do you think that now um pretty much what Rizal said i mean i don't think that uh it really makes sense to say that and apply it to all fantasy settings even though like he's you did say magic but like even then like the way magic is implemented in many series is different everyone is kind of decided by the author mm. and uh yeah i think it really just depends on the story um and uh, there's plenty of reasons why like someone being disabled make could make sense and it's not just as simple as yourself maybe you need a lot of power to heal yourself or maybe it's an incurable disease mm. so I, I don't know I, I, I think because i've seen this um statement before in reference to like avatar because of like tough and it doesn't mm. make sense but, but like i mean there's some things that yes because she's disabled <laughs> and stuff but i mean i don't see i don't i think this is more a thing where people think like it's not good to have disabled people, but I think just, I don't know. I don't really agree with the view because it's good to have characters that people who might have that disability can relate to. It's a lot easier for them to relate to. That can also be a reason. So having those characters just be absent is, um, I, w I would say it's a bit, uh, it's like you're erasing what it actually is. You know, these mm -hmm. people exist in real life, so why can't they, exist in fantasy as well i don't know yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys brought really great points i mean when i saw it i vehemently disagreed with it because it didn't just make sense in my head granted i'm not as big of a fantasy fan maybe it's like daniel or like someone like Gucci. but i was thinking have we ever been in a fantasy world where every single person in that world can do magic it's true never which means yeah not everyone, if you do get a disability, you're not, you don't have magic. I'm talking Harry Potter and other stuff. You're not going to heal yourself if you don't have magic. And I'm guessing for someone to heal you, you have to pay, you have to do something. Or if you can't afford it. I was also thinking, not everyone has the same kind of magic. So surely you have to have healing magic specifically. Yeah. To do that. So that's what I was thinking as well. On top of that, what Daniel said about rep rep representation. What does it hurt? It does no harm, literally. It doesn't break the story. It's just someone who can use the legs, can use the arms, has a hand cut off, has a uh, she's blind, um, someone who can speak. You know, how does that affect the story in any way? So I really disagreed. There's one statement that someone said that made sense to me, which says like you shouldn't have like when it comes to, like people who can walk. You shouldn't have, um, like, modern wheelchairs. I said, that makes sense, you know. Give me something fancy. Give me something crazy. I want people without like, using, like, all the kind of designs that, not, that's not, that doesn't look like a wheelchair. Maybe even using, like, animals, like, you know, put the carriage on top of, like, a, a lizard. And stuff like that. That would be interesting. That's what I agreed with. But apart from that, representation, I don't think I've been in any kind of fantasy world, even though I'm still, like, a novice with that. When it comes to everyone using the same kind of magic one or everyone even using magic as a whole, it doesn't make sense. And what if it's paralysis, you know, and it's just permanent or it's, you go from birth, 
You know, there's so many things. It just seemed like a blanket statement that didn't make sense to me. So I was like, you know what? This seems stupid. But I, I think I was just surprised because a lot of people were agreeing with it. I was like, really? am I being silly? A lot, a lot yeah. of people. That's... A lot of likes, a lot of comments. I so see. I was thinking maybe I'm not as in-depth with the mm. ins and outs of fantasy as I thought I was. Maybe this is really obvious. It's like, let me bring it to the boys. But it seems obvious to me. Yeah. Uh, there's so many things that goes through. And like Daniel said, or I think Rogel said, surely it's down to the, <laughs> to the person who writes the story as well. <laughs> if it makes sense and it doesn't break the fantasy. Like, far from... From Avatar, it doesn't break the, the story at all. She can't see, at all. but she's still strong, and she's Indeed. one of the strongest characters. Like you know, I think people see maybe some people see disabilities like that as like a negative. Yeah, but people can function. People can still be the smartest. They can still be the strongest in the verse. They can still be very well written in the verse. If it's not something like with like a um, like a Jonin or like a Sainin or Jonin, they can still be like deep characters well written very relatable whether you're disabled or not you know this they can still have good relationships here That's and true. there so it didn't make sense to me but i was like you know what just in case maybe there's a uh, something I'm missing that daniel Rizzo can bring up but it seems like you guys agree as well yeah i always kind of see it like the the opposite not like it's like i feel like it's like extreme positive when i see somebody overcoming stuff you know what i mean mm. especially and i think that's what you've in general, like the underlying themes that people are drawn to at certain anime series or animated series, when somebody is really deeply overcoming a limitation that they have, whatever that is, and it, when it's a disability, uh, it, it, it even, uh, not even like, not in like a patronizing way, but you know, it has that, like, you, you root for them. And when you see how hard they and the difficulties they have to go through, like, you root for them more, you're like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh, and it makes you think that anything that you're doing that may be difficult, maybe you have some limitations in different areas of your life, but you can overcome it. Like it was built to overcome it. So like, I don't know. I always, it's like, for me, it's a net positive. And I always hate se- series that it's a fantasy world and everything can be dealt with with magic. That is just so annoying. Like, oh, fair enough. I, I like there to be no some difficult, difficulties. You know what I mean? Some mistakes. Some I don't want anything just by a flick of a finger. We can erase and we can fix everything. You know what I mean? It's like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So let's uh, move on. Um, so we have the overreaction. Should I book a solo <laughs> trip to Japan this week? I'm not really sure if that's a reaction. It, it seems really like isn't. a consultation. It really is it. But I'm switching it. I'm switching it. It's overreaction, but I'm switching it. So is being an anime fan or a fan of the anime culture make you feel it's necessary to visit Japan? That's my big question. And uh, my second part is, do, you, do any of you want to go to Japan? Um, I'll answer the second one first, which is a resounding yes. Soon come. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it would be really good to, because necessary is a bit sticky. Because what if people can afford or you know stuff like that? But I think it'd be a very, uh, most of what I'm looking for, a valuable experience. But I don't think it's necessary. Just personally, but yeah. What about you, Dan? Yeah, uh, do I want to go to Japan? Uh, not really, but, um, and do I think it's necessary again? No, but I think, I think if I wanted to, if I would go to Japan, it's not because of, I'm an anime fan. There's Mm. other things outside. I think like generally it's just a nice country to visit. It's like Mm. a, um, there's a lot of attractions there. Um, and, but yeah. I'm not really a big fish guy, so that's why I wouldn't go. I probably wouldn't be able to eat any of yeah, the food there. They love, they love the fish, I'm <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Right. No, there's someone on that, actually. There's someone I follow. Not I follow, but I like to feel of his post on TikTok, and I get mm. it's now in the... It's just all over my um, For You page now, but it's called Japan Eats. Yeah. 
I think the diversity of food is really good, good there, if that's what you're worried about, Dan. Um, but I agree. I think I wouldn't go to Japan just for... Um, because I like anime and manga. Like, I won't go to Korea just because I like K-dramas. I think Japan, Korea, places like that, very, very rich in culture. Very rich in culture. And I, I like visiting place for culture, the food as well, the people. I think it's just... I think anime is like a, a bullet point of a long list of the reasons why I want to go, but not the sole reason. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to see the blossom trees and that. Mm, like sacred I'm, cheese. Yeah, yes, I want to see that. I want to see that. I hear it's super Please. hot in the summer, so you might have to avoid the summer. Mm -hmm. It's super cold as well. And super, they have they all weathers. Snows, get, yeah, they really have yeah. all weathers. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, man. It's a very beautiful place. And me, that likes to take my pictures. Oh, you be living up. Not wait. You be this actually, photogenic man. place as well. I think that sometimes I just want to go to a place where it's not like a tourist attraction or mm. where people go. And just yeah. kind of experience like the the life that people will experience there. Like no, there's no Universal Studios closed. There's no mm. people coming to Akihabara to buy like Funko Pops and <laughs> and stuff like that. Just no, just like a every other day. I yeah. think that's gonna be a, quite a unique experience. Like outskirts, do a little bit like mm. a hiking mm. trip, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. that but no, nice. at the back of mind, every time I always think. Do they like niggers? That's a good question. I won't go to you. I, oh. I think it depends where you are. Yeah, yeah. That's always like more. It's like a thing where they're just surprised because mm. with Japan, it's Obviously. very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it? Almost. Reserved. More. It's not even just reserved. It's just like in, in Japan, it's just probably like ninety nine percent Japanese people. So mm. if you see like a mm. black person, it's really something where you're just not. Some pizza, so I'm pretty sure like most of them, if you go to a rural area, they've probably never even seen someone who's not Japanese. Like, yeah, so it's like a surprise. So you'll probably get stared at a lot. Not mm -hmm. as in it's a bad thing, it's just a thing like, oh, well, intrigue. What are you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't mind staring, it's just and there's some places like I just in my head that's like I don't want to visit there. It's a shame, but place like Italy for me, just because of the things I've heard. But then again, I also don't want to judge places because of other people's experience. But at the same time, you want to take other people's experience into consideration when you're visiting. But I think just from how people visit Japan a lot, I think the popular areas will be fine. It's just a kind of rural area that I would like to experience. It's a, it's a worry. It's in the back of your mind, that. isn't it? It's like you... Yeah, I would admit, it. yeah. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I'm a bad guy, but I'll pretend to be a basketball NBA player. Yeah, I mean, you're tall enough. I was signed... I Autograph, take pics. I might charge. You're on serious, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, this is LeBron James. Looks nothing. <laughs> nothing alike. <laughs> <laughs> nothing alike. <laughs> All right, dude. But yeah, that's my overreaction. Wasn't really an overreaction, but it was what was on my mind. Did you change it to Rigel Thoughts? Rigel Thoughts. Yeah, last, man. I mean, it's so not been a reaction for time, bro. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, but what's happening to <laughs> you, man? I'm losing my edge. I'm losing my edge. What is? I'm not even reacting no more. We're doing like, am I crazy? That's what you put as. That's a good title. Am I crazy? Because last week, listening back, I was like, oh my god. We're beefing kids. Yeah, that, yeah. Listen to last week's episode for that um that segment. So, do you know what's worse? Uh, do you know what's worse? Real quick, I saw a baby playing the piano today, and I I felt some type of way. Let me just leave it at that. Oh, for God's sake. All right, so topics of interest. Um, so every year they run a poll in Anime Japan about manga, which should become anime next. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to ask you guys what, um, if, you, if you could pick one series that you're reading that hasn't been animated, what series would you like to get an anime? Yes, sir. I've been waiting for this. You guys, I don't know if you guys have heard of this series before. Um, it's one of my favorites. Actually. I probably say it's my top five, but it's never going to anime before, and I really wanted to get a chance because I think people really like it. It's a little series called Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> That's a little series. <laughs> um, All right, man. Ken Kaneki, one of one of the greatest MCs in my opinion, top ten. And just the characters, the, the art is beautiful. You guys need to see it. But hopefully it gets anime soon. 
But on a more, not even on serious, but <laughs> my actual answer would be Vagabond. Um, yeah. Same Sashi Miyamoto. It will be good. I want good quality. I don't want the Berserk treatment. I want good quality Villain Saga esque for Vagabond. Yeah. I think it will be really good. The story is amazing. The main characters are great. You know, there's a character to love, there's a character to hate, character to root for. So I think it'll be a great, great, great series. And it deserves like top tier animation because the art, one of the best art I've ever seen when it comes to manga, period. It's just amazing. Not many do what that show does when it comes to the artistic vision. But yeah, in a way, it's a genius. But I think it deserves an anime. Well, okay. it's just pretend that we finished like three sagas early <laughs> because it's not finished. <laughs> fair, fair. Just tease people. Like, Yay, this is it. This is the one. You're never, <laughs> you're never getting season four though. <laughs> mm. Okay. What about you, Ajo? My one, my one, I have a long history with this series. Uh, two videos have been taken down on this channel of these series. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that knows me to this day. <laughs> to this day. To this day. I put a lot of effort into those videos. Those amazing videos. I, I really, really good videos. I could hardly edit them. Time. A lot of likes, a lot of efforts. Yeah, man. Jagan. Jagan. My guy with the gun for hands. Incredible. Uh, yeah, that, that series, I've always said, especially uh, when I even reread it, it would do so well if it was animated. Uh, mm. the, um, it just, it does a great job at really showcasing the dark side of humanity, but also um, the things that make you want to be hopeful. Things uh, that uh, human nature makes you want to be like, you know what? They're, they're not too bad, you know. We they yeah, we, we can keep we can keep these guys. We can keep, keep these guys, but. Um, is well balanced out, uh, great characters with uh, a lot of uh, tough backstories that have really shaped their outlook and they're continuously challenged on a day-to-day in regards to whether the, the path they've chosen is the, the path they want to go down. Um, the only troubling thing with getting this animated is that there's... The dark stuff is really dark. Like you couldn't. Yeah, you, you, for sure. yeah like, <laughs> but even R rated is like, you have to take out so many things. Like so many things, it's crazy. Like there's too too many dumb stuff that if you just gave it to a stranger to read, just look at this scene. A random stranger, look at this scene. They will think you're not all right. They will think, why are, you, why are you showing me this? Like this is this is problematic, and it's traumatic. Uh, but mm. apart from that, Jagan would go crazy and i think it will pop off like i think it'll actually pop off 100 percent agreed and co-signed mm, okay that's cool that's cool um i think i guess for me it's, it's a bit hard because a lot of the stuff that i read has already been animated but i'll pick um probably think perfect world would make a good anime just a uh, romance with the guy who is wheelchair bound with the mm-hmm. with the lady it's with adults as well so you know it's a nice change of pace so it would be nice i don't know if they would actually animated it but it would be nice but yes that was that one do you know can... i thought you were going to say something else i don't know if you i think you you read it. i think you're going to say i don't know if it's going to i'm already to be fair i just want to read the manga because it looks beautiful uh which hat Absolutely. I think yeah, that's getting an anime. It's getting an anime. Yeah. So <laughs> it, looks, yeah, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Do you know what? I think I think people are following Daniel's takes and then deciding what to give anime. So like, ah, Daniel, he's read it. He's enjoyed it. Let's give it an anime. <laughs> oh Daniel. <laughs> For real. Merch coming soon. For real. <laughs> Yeah, man, I can't. I can't really complain. Actually, I, you can't complain because just because it gets an anime doesn't mean it's gonna be good. But that's yeah, a that's, yeah. that's a different discussion. But yeah, um, and then just before we do the wiki updates, we got this second topic from Rigel. It's 
split seasons might be the best for anime. Example being the Beastars final season, which will be herring in two different halves. Yeah, man. Uh, previously, I've always been kind of opposed to uh, split uh, seasons, parts, because I was just thinking, okay, you just trying to long it out. And obviously, we've been scarred by AOT and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, having discussed from the viewpoints of anime's experience in the last week and a bit, and obviously uh, been kind of going over the topic of the conditions that uh, the industry is in, I was like, maybe it's not too bad us getting split seasons. It's something that I, it's not fun for us because obviously you just want to be able to week to week or if it comes out everything out like a netflix series want to just bang out straight away uh but yeah what's you guys are two pence do you feel like it if this is kind of the new kind of norm it can kind of uh be a way where we don't have to kind of push these animators to their extreme because at least they have a bit of time if it's done in the right way I have to 100% agree with that, just because of that point alone, to be fair. Um, did you mind see the animation for JJK, the new re-release? Yeah. I haven't seen that. Oh, Ooh, um, Sakuna versus Maharaga, again, beautiful. I was mind blown. I was like, what is going on? That just makes you think, if these people actually had time and rest, this is what they could produce. And I think for that reason alone, better quality, number two, number one, healthy animators. That's a win-win, in my opinion. What about you, Dan? Oh, yeah, I agree. Because uh, if it makes it easier for the animators, it gives them more time to actually do their work, then can't really complain. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the thing. They're, it's them who's doing the work. Let them do their work in the time. Um, and if it helps their condition, no complaints. It doesn't. It's not going to kill you to wait six months for twelve episodes, man. You're gonna. It does, it's not that deep. Yeah, it might teach people patience as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And our people, them, the anime community. I'm not going to lie to you. We need a bit. Of, we need a bit of work in that department. A bit. <laughs> I was being nice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just in case they're listening. <laughs> Hey man, they know what it is, man. <laughs> no sugar coating over here. Mm, no sugar coating. Okay. So we'll move on to uh, any other comments on that one, or shall we move on to the weekly reads and watches? Yes, we can do our weekly readies and watches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is, but cool. Uh, so we'll go to we'll go to Ed first. Um, oh, okay, me first. Yes, finally, I... Actually, before that, I'm still... If you wanted to know, I'm still watching Huren, John Zient, and it's still amazing. And I don't know if it's a crazy, like, thing to say or if it's, like, a recency biased thing, but I think this has just kind of brought my love... Not love, but my interest for fantasy a lot more prominent the series mm. um but i'm just excited to where it is i'm like 14 episodes in it's about halfway through and i'm enjoying it man the ride has been good stark has solidified itself as my favorite character not because just because it's badness he just he just cracked me up i laugh because of him and that's good <laughs> Furin as well Furin is funny her reactions her face she's she's yeah what a great main character one of the, my favorite main characters in years not like we like not returning anime, just in general, new MCs. Yeah, she 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 the one. But the one I want to focus on today is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I finally watched it. And I don't know why I waited this long, because all I can say it was a great, great, great movie. Very emotional, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to be that emotional. Um yeah, man, I'm gonna miss the characters. Rocket. Wow, that 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 raccoon has been through it. Oh, he died. <laughs> no, he didn't die, but his backstory—it's oh. a tough life. Isn't it? Like a drug. Tough life for him. 
He yeah, like watch, the truck so. in his squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be all right. It's true. He's a rookie, isn't it? <laughs> he, he, he went through it, though. He went through it. But it was an amazing movie, and I can't wait. Yeah. To see what they do next with them. But it was a very good movie. 10 out of 10 for me. Great trilogy. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. I best said trilogy, 10 out of 10. The best trilogy Marvel ever did. Whoa, I, whoa that's, that's big fact, words. Fair enough, man. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I might agree with that. I do think it's a lead trilogy. Mm, okay, fair enough, man. I haven't watched, so I can't really comment. Hits you in the feels. Mm, okay. Michelle, what have you been reading or watching? Yeah, I got two. I thought I had none, but I just... Do you know when you forget what you've done earlier in the week? Because the week sometimes is very long and you're tired. I was here thinking, right, yes. I actually did what sign. <laughs> Daniel knows, Daniel knows. I know Ed knows as well. I know for sure. Uh, but continuing in my um, journey with weekly films that I try to at least watch uh, one long form, I watched The Clover, uh, The Cloverfield Paradox. is a Netflix film produced by J.J. Um, Abrams. And it was uh, like sci-fi, futuristic kind of um movie very enjoyable uh had good surprising elements i love um because when you've watched enough sci-fis and watched enough shows everything becomes predictable uh but this wasn't didn't go the way i was gonna like think it was gonna go and it wasn't as predictable as other series so i think it had done a good job it wasn't too long uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. In regards to my reads, weekly reads, um, decided to finally finish the, well, I don't know if it's going to be finished because I don't know if she's going to write a third book, but uh, the Atlas um, series of books by uh, Olivia um, Blake, uh, I purchased the second book, The Atlas Paradox, Destiny is a Choice. And I'm excited to delve back into the world uh, of scholars and magic and uh, you know evil and good and the blurred lines that tend to uh, plague um, these kind of series in regards to magic and uh, stuff so yeah I'm started the first chapter good so far following it's weird because there's been a big gap between when I read the first book um, so I'm excited to see if it would just kind of uh, spark my memory of what happened previously. But yeah, man, those are my two. Okay, good, good, good. And then for me, what I was reading, I finished, um, I've been reading a lot of books, um, but I've been reading, I just finished Black Powder War. That's the third book in the Temeraire series. Um, it's getting crazy out here. We really beefing napoleon and napoleon is a serious serious general um but yeah uh, and then watching i watched the second season of um ume musume pretty derby uh that was it was emotional i can't lie to you at first the first season was like it was just light-hearted then the second season was just um very heavy emotional um, great ending would recommend um and yeah you know it's very cool very cool series i'm gonna be there for the movie yeah the movie or is the movie already out um it's supposed to be coming out like probably this next month or this month i would i watched the trailer looks hype man wow yeah man we love to see it. don't sleep don't be sleeping but on it don't sleep we shall be I awake think. we shall be awake or you do I don't know, man. <laughs> you have, you have a lot on your list, bro. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe <laughs> yeah, you do need to sleep. I got called out immediately. I see how it is. <laughs> I said, "Are you sure?" <laughs> I'm seeing that. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I was like, Daniel uh, might be right, but Daniel's actually right. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But if you ever watch it, you understand. You don't even need to watch the first season. If you watch the second season, you understand. But fair enough. 
I'm not even saying that like the first season is bad. It's not. It's just not connected. It's like it focuses on a different set of characters. That's why. Mm. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, who's gonna close us out this week? Mm, I'll do it. Okay, take it away. Hello, everyone. Thank you for listening to us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we should be, you should be expecting a lot more every week. Consistency, you know, episode 51. Next week, officially a year. Wow. But as always, guys, again, thank you for listening to us. And I'm holding in my hand right here, Manga from Waterstones. You know my story. You know what I'm going to say. Go out this weekend, buy a book. It doesn't have to be manga or comic book. Buy a book, educate yourself, and increase your horizons. We shall see you next time. Deuces. Bye. Love you.